Hello everybody, this is Jeff from net.tetsplus.com. The subject of today's screencast is going to be Kufan. So if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, feel free to make fun of me as much as you want. So, what makes Kufan different from the other alternatives such as Cipher and FLIR? Most notably, it doesn't require Flash. It uses a mixture of Canvas and VML. Now, what are the downsides? Well, it's JavaScript dependent, so if the user disables JavaScript, uh, just the, the regular text is going to display. Not too big of a deal. And second, once again, the text is not selectable, which is can be a big deal. You need to determine this on a project-by-project -project basis to see whether it's appropriate. Now, what are the advantages? It's lightning fast. Uh, number two, it's unbelievably easy to get started. Uh, for those of you that use Cipher, it can be a major pain. I know how to use Cipher quite well, and I still have problems where it just doesn't work. It's very, very confusing, even to those who know how to use it. So with Kufan, you'll be up and running in three minutes. It just works. Okay, so let's go and take a look at what we're going to do. I downloaded this free template uh, off the web, very basic, just to have something to work with. Okay, it's called Flower. It's fine, it'll work. So let's go ahead and download Kufan. So I'm going to Google Kufan, and we're gonna come right here. And we'll see Kufan aims to become a worthy alternative to Cipher, which despite its merits, still remains painfully tricky to set up and use. You got that right. So the first step, let's go to usage and see how they teach you. Now we're not gonna go through this manually. You're welcome to take a look at it on your own. Step one, get Kufan. It's highly recommended that you always use the YUI compressed version. So let's go ahead and just save that link as, whoops, I guess we need to go to the page first. Maybe not. Let's go to the Kufan website and we're gonna click download and I'm just gonna right click and go save link as and we'll save it to our desktop. Okay, so we've got Kufan. The next step is we need to add a font. We need to convert a font. So I'm gonna browse for font. Now, if you're using Windows, it's been stated that sometimes you might need to copy the font out of your fonts folder. So I'm just gonna do a search for fonts, open up my fonts folder, and I'm going to find something that really stands out. Let's get that ugly, uh, that Joker font that you would never use on your website, but this will really easily show you uh, that it's working. So I've copied that out, and I'm going to come back to Firefox, and I'm going to browse for that. Whoop, no, it's not right. Let's browse for Jokerman. And we can also upload a bold and italic typeface. I am not going to bother with that. And we need to make sure that the EULA allows this web embedding. You want to make sure you're not using pay fonts. Uh, you know, it's not allowed. So make sure it's allowed. Feel free to look over the terms and conditions. Next, include the following glyphs. So we could just select all, but if we want to make the file size a little bit smaller, let's include the uppercase, lowercase, numerals, punctuation, uh, maybe WordPress punctuation, and I'm not even going to worry with any of the Latin glyphs. All right, we can add security to make sure that this will only work on our domain. That's a very, very smart feature that they implemented. And uh, we can customize it if we want. I found that it's not really necessary. And then we can alter the performance and the size. I think at first, let's just leave that blank. And I'm going to accept the terms and conditions and create the file. And it gives me this new JavaScript file that I need to save. So once again, I'm gonna save it to my desktop. All right, and we get these two files. So I'm gonna open this uh, sample template and let's create a new folder for our JavaScript files. And select those and drag them in. Okay, so next let's edit this file. And we need to reference those scripts. So, look, wrong program. Script type equals text slash JavaScript. Source equals, and let's first reference uh, Kufan. So we have Kufan dash YUI dash JS. So Kufan. If I can type correctly, kufan-yui.js. All right, next we need to reference the font. So let's find out what that's called. 
Jokerman underscore 400. Uh, if you're curious, 400 or 800, that refers to the weight of the font. So let's go and add that. Okay. And next, we need to actually uh, make a select statement. So once again, script type equals text slash JavaScript. Still too early, my hands can't type yet. What I want to do is replace this heading one tag right here, okay? So all we do is kufon.replace and we pass in the tag name, h1. Save it. Let's come back to Firefox and reload the page. Now we get one error. Let's come to the bottom and it's saying kufon is not defined. So let's come back and figure out how come that is. And quite simply, it is because I need to make sure that I reference that they are in fact in the JavaScript folder. I'm sure many of you guys noticed that. Save it, come back, close out Firebug, refresh it, and it's working. Can you believe it? Two or three minutes, it required practically nothing. It relies on your CSS code to determine the, you know, the, the line height and the font size. It just works. You don't have to drive yourself crazy getting it to work. Now, let's try something different. Let's replace uh, our heading two tags and let's see what happens. Okay, so it changes this one here, all H2 tags. Now, what if I only want to change this one up top? And by the way, I know this font looks crazy, so I'm not actually suggesting that this looks better, but it, it allows you to really see the difference rather than a font that is a little hard to see on the screencast. So what if I only want to change the heading two right up here and not here? Let's come back. Now you might think, oh, let's just use a selector engine. So we could, in our header, maybe add an ID or not even so. Let's just do header like you would with jQuery, header h2. But if we come back, refresh the page, it doesn't work. Now to keep the, the file size as small as possible, the creators of Kufan decided not to implement a selector engine, especially when frameworks are becoming so popular, it can piggyback off the engines of those frameworks. So all we need to make sure to use something like this is that we import our framework before we import Kufon. So if I wanted to import jQuery, for instance, I don't know if I have a, no, I don't. You know what I'm going to have to do is, um, uh, let's search for jQuery CDN. I'm not using the program I usually do to use my text expander. Um, let's grab this. All right, and let's just select that. Sorry, I should have had that handy. And come back and I'm gonna paste it in. And if you guys ever get this, a lot of people email me with things like this and they say it doesn't work. It's because when you copy and paste, you need to make sure that you replace the double quotes with uh, just regular ones, otherwise it's not gonna work. So if you're newer, that might give you uh, a couple hiccups. And save it. So we've made sure that we imported it before Kufon. Come back. And let's see if it's working now. Done. Now we can use the power of jQuery uh, CSS selectors to target exactly what we want to use. Okay, now, what if you don't really need to use a framework and you don't want to add the extra file size? Well, there you can just use raw JavaScript if you want. So we can get rid of jQuery right here. And instead of using a selector engine, we could just use the native something like document dot get element by ID, and we're gonna get header. And then if we want to access this h2 tag, we could do dot get elements by tag name, and then add h2. Now, if we come back, this isn't going to work by default. I refresh the page, it goes back, and it's because we haven't uh, waited for the DOM to completely load, so we could copy this, if we wanted, we could really get all of this information right here and bring it down to the very bottom, like so. And now when we call kufon.replace, uh, everything's going to be available to us. So if I refresh the page, now it's available. And you can see that it's accessed the H2 tag within the header, but not anywhere else. So believe it or not, that's all that I wanted to cover. If you want to select something else, it's as simple as going to 
you know, changing H2 to H1. It's it's so simple. I highly recommend that you take a look. I'd love to hear your thoughts of the the pros and cons of it. If you're interested, I'm going to include a link within this website to their home website. You simply download it. You generate your font that you want to use. By the way, you're, you can use multiple fonts. Uh, you simply just convert another one to JavaScript, and then you import it per usual. You can look over the documentation. And as I said, more than anything, it just works. It's not 100% perfect due to the cons that I went over, but it works well enough, and until we can start using the CSS3 font family property, I think, in my personal opinion, this is the best choice when compared to Flir, and which is dependent upon PHP, or Cipher, which uses Flash, or there's another one called typeface.js, I believe. But from what I've found, the file sizes are a bit larger on that one, but that works quite well, too. So take a look. Let me know your thoughts. This is actually probably the shortest one I've ever done, and that's just a testament. Yeah, 11 minutes. It's just a testament to how great it works. It just works. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.